Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and you have studied so far the univariate calculus. Now we are switching our focus to multivariate calculus and this is just an introduction video on that. Uh, so basically we'll just build on top of our invariate calculus intuition and we'll see that uh, it's in fact a uh, bit messy of course but then not much different than what we did in the case of univariate calculus okay so let's quickly see what we did in univariate calculus so for example this was my graph and so this was my single variable area in square feet and this was my sale price right and my function looked something like this perfect so this was you know if I change certain values my fx which is my y variable here and this is my x for example so if I change x and if I move somewhere here my value f of x changes too right so this was the study of a single variable now in this case what we are going to do is you know take two variables at a time so for example instead of just having area probably we also have say the distance from the city right city distance for example now and this is my sale price so here we are taking two variables instead of a single variable area right so area is in square feet city distance probably is in kilometer so of course that is a different story how we are going to you know use that information but for the time being just keep in mind that we are dealing with two variables instead of one and say for example your graph now would look more like a surface right instead of a single function so basically if I am looking at a particular point here so I not only want to study that if I change my area by a certain amount how much is my function changing I would also like to see if I change the distance how is my function changing so basically I have to do partial derivative on two different variables not just one which we saw in the case of univariate calculus right and in terms of function this is how would typically it would look like say for example I have a function so earlier it was something like this you know mx plus b right this was for the univariate calculus case in case of uh, multivariate we say we have another variable y f of x y and say it would look something like this say x square plus y square okay and now if i take a uh, partial derivative so i have to take a partial derivative of both x and y so say for example this is f of x f of y and if I'm taking a partial derivative of x so that means this becomes partial derivative of e to the power x square plus y square divided by with respect to x and this would become e to the power x square plus y square times 2x okay and likewise I can do derivative of e to the power x square plus y square with respect to y then this would become e to the power of x square plus y square times 2 times the y so basically I have to study the influence of changing both x and y on the function in my univariate calculus I was just worried about one variable which is x and that x could be area or anything else but in case of multivariate calculus we are do, you know dealing with multiple variables and that's why we have to change each variable and see how they're you know how, uh, how they're influencing the overall output and that is the main intention behind multivariate calculus so I hope it gives you a good introduction about multivariate calculus and let's look into more detail in our next video.